really important thing to understand about osteoarthritis is that it is actually a disease. It is not just normal wear and tear of the joint. It's an actual disease process by which the joint starts to degenerate. Osteoarthritis is actually one of the fastest growing conditions in the world, and the rates for osteoarthritis are actually the highest in North America. In Canada, about 4 million people currently have osteoarthritis, and it's expected that by 2040, one quarter of Canadians will have osteoarthritis, which is somewhere around 11 and a half to 12 million people. Despite an incredible amount of research, we don't exactly know what causes osteoarthritis. But what researchers have been able to figure out is who is at greatest risk and the fact that there might be multiple causes of osteoarthritis. So people that have had a previous joint injury, that have high levels of fat tissue, that have weak muscles, who have a genetic predisposition are more likely to have osteoarthritis. And women are also actually more likely to have osteoarthritis than men. And we're not sure why, but those are, are, are fairly well established risk factors for osteoarthritis. So there's actually two groups of people that get osteoarthritis. The first group, which is the group I think most of us think about, are older adults that start to develop joint pain later in life. So in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. However, there's a second group of people that develop osteoarthritis, and that's young adults that have had a previous joint injury. If we take into consideration that 80% of people that have osteoarthritis have knee osteoarthritis, and that 10 to 15 years after a knee injury, one can start to develop signs of osteoarthritis, and then we consider that the most common age to have a knee injury is between the ages of 16 and 35, it's not uncommon to see people in their 20s and 30s with signs of osteoarthritis in their knee if they've had a previous joint injury.